Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to fix uh, some issues we have. So first, I'm going to display the created out here. The same thing we have in the Reddit. So as you can see, we have three hours ago. And if we click, also we display that in here. So the same thing, I'm going to display the created out here. And then when we go to the post show, the same thing. The second one is so if I go to the home page and this post is created by a second user and I am logged in a second user, if I go and read more, now we have the edit and delete button. If I click delete, we have this error because we don't added the cascade on delete on the post votes, so we need to fix that. And the third one is if I go and log out and click here, we have this error can on null because we check for the auth user and right now I am not logged in. So we need to check for first for the user if the user is logged in and then check for the user can update or delete the post. So let's start first with the displaying the created out here for that i'm going to go inside the app sctp resources community post resource and here i'm going to add to the created add and it's going to be this created add and i'm going to say div for humans and save and let's copy this one and do the same on the post show resource okay save close now if i come here and inspect the element go to the view okay and post data object if i refresh We have the created out here. Okay. Now let's go and display that created out in the JS components. We have the post card and we need to display after the username. So let's say here post dot created at. Okay. And yeah, we have four minutes ago but we need to change margin to be margin mx1 and yeah now we have four minutes ago good maybe let's add the on this one text to be small and yeah, I think now it's more okay. And the same thing we need to do in the pages, front end, post, show page. Here, when we display the username, after that, let's display also here the post data created at. Save. And if I click here, oh, we need to log in. Let's log in as a test user. And yeah, we have six minutes ago. Good. Now let's fix that uh, if the user is not logged in. For that, we need to go ins inside the app, HTTP controllers, front end, post controller. Here, when we check, for the user can update or can delete i want to check if the user is logged in so i'm going i'm going to say out check and if the user is logged in check if the user can update otherwise say false 
the same thing here. So first check if the auth check. So if the user is logged in, otherwise false. And with that now, if I go and log out, click here. Yeah, we don't have error. Now the last one is the fix that if we are logged in and we need to delete this post, we have this error. For that, I'm going to change the migrations. We can delete the votes and then delete the post, but I'm going to add cascade on delete first better in the migration so let's go inside the comments and also in the post but first in the comments and i'm going to say cascade on delete save close go also to the post votes the same thing cascade on delete save close and because we are going to make the migrate fresh I'm going to copy this when we say add is admin to users table and go to the user table and paste it right here. Close this one and now delete this migration. Okay. Close this and say artisan migrate sorry migrate fresh okay and run the npm run dev close this now let's open the table class and refresh we have empty we have this is admin okay now let's create some uh, users let's go first in the home page And I'm going to create first the admin user. Admin again. Admin, admin.com, add the password. The same thing for the confirm password. And I'm going to come here, refresh. And let's copy this. And paste it here save now refresh we are verified good i want to change also the is admin to b1 to this one and now let's log out and register a new user so the test user test.com and the test here and add the password Click register and we need also to verify the email here. So let's refresh the same thing. Let's create a community and I'm going to say Laravel community. Click store test okay let's go to Laravel and create new post and I'm going to say first post just to have here create another one second post and as you can see we have now 10 seconds ago and one second ago and yeah, we can update a vote and downvote. Log out and log register the second user. The same thing we need to verify that. Uh, email 
but I'm going to do from here. And the refresh, create a community, store, go to this community and create new post. Vue.js post. Okay. Now let this is working. If I go here, yeah, I can comment. Okay, I can vote. I can go back. If I go to the post I have created, so this one, I'm going to upvote and I'm going to see if I can delete that. Yeah, let's go and create. First, Vue.js post. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the Laravel and I'm going to create a post here. from second user logout uh, login as test user now if go if I go to the Laravel this this is created by me by the test user and here we have a post created by the second user. If I click here, I can see the delete. And if I click, yeah, we deleted the post. So everything works. Also, if I go log out and click here, we have that. We don't have error. So that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.